Hello. Okay, it's on. Cool. We have a. Uh... Yeah. Chris versus. Oh snap! This has the stream set up on it. That's so fancy. Hi. I'm Timmy. Cool. Um, this one over here. Hey guys, Rango over here. Figured I'd uh, com commentate the match. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too. Yep. You're tall. <laughs> <laughs> Only six one. I'm not the tallest yet. Yeah, yeah it's I'm a work in progress. I know, right? <laughs> Wait until the cybernetic enhancements come out. <laughs> Get some extendo legs. Hey, the only place that I want to go high, taller, is on my PR, uh, PGR, PR ranking right now. Let's go. I always mix up the two. One's for Georgia, one's international. They're almost the same thing. I know, for Georgia, <laughs> PR. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was the power Georgia rankings, you know? I know, right? We could call it that. Georgia has the top 10 PGR players. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> I mean, it's not really a lie. It's not. Because you have to consider several of them are already PGR and Georgia Smash. Also, in addition to Scat and Fatality, we've got Sunito, we've, we've got Hyper Kirby. We've got either the best or one of the best of a character. Here. Yeah. All right, so JDA7, T-Rex, Pikachu and Snake. Now, back when we played Smash 4, JDA used Pikachu as well. Um, he was one of our best Augusta players, and he was really good with landing the U-Throw Thunder combo. Ooh. As for Snake, i uh, never seen T-Rex a Snake before, but dang, it looks like we're going off on a disaster firsthand. Yeah, this, uh, this matchup was actually a pretty hard one in Brawl. Yeah, lots changed since then. <laughs> Can't really tell who's got the advantage, honestly. Uh, JDA definitely put some work with them Gimps, so. though. That was really unfortunate. Was <laughs> he accidentally went off stage and died for it. <laughs> that was a hell of a spike. Yeah. Grab that grenade. Um, but yeah, you know, whew, he's already got a spicy jab lock. Yeah. That was quick. Garrix really? is going to have to turn it around with some explosives real quick. <laughs> oh, Chris is the uh, snake. I don't really know how to switch it. Oh, it's already over? Oh, oh my no. goodness. Ouch. Ooh, that was a that was a quick game one. Uh, JDA taking game one. It was kinda nice. It was cute. I can I can respect it. Yeah. Doesn't even have a type advantage. <laughs> Snake's not even a flying or a water type. <laughs> yeah, he's an explosion type. I Wait, he's self destructing. Shouldn't Pikachu just lose? Yeah. In a way you could say that. <laughs> JDA up one. Battle of the bandanas and headbands. Yo, Bandana Brothers. Literally the only thing I could think that have the two have in common. <laughs> well, Snake could pass off as a Pikachu if he tried hard enough. Aren't Snake supposed to eat mice, though? Yeah, so Snake should win. Uh, on paper, but on we know this is Smash. <laughs> I mean, Smash, uh, it's very realistic. You know, it likes to reflect real life all the time. Every so often. I'm not sure how many, uh, how, how well Pikachu can just grab a grenade in his mouth. <laughs> But uh, that was a great catch by JDA. Yeah. Chris also starting a lot stronger in this game than the last one. Definitely. Putting on some defense. Once Pikachu gets his fangs in you, he's not going to let go. <laughs> Definitely better uh, ledge trap right there. Putting up a bit of a fight with the Nikita. JDA coming back with retaliation. This is the Thunder. Ooh, Sick that's parry. spicy there. Spicy. Right now, it's looking to be a little bit more... Uh, friendly for Snake this time. That that Nikita is no joke. <laughs> we're not, we're not in here putting mouse traps. The trap comes to you. Ooh, risky C4, risky. Well, uh, at least now he controls the area. Ooh, up Damn. tilt. Damn. Yeah. Oh, you tilt though. You see how far that thing went? Yeah. Snake's Ooh. up tilt. Uh, it it actually got better on the late hitbox too in the recent patch. Yeah, you would think it wouldn't be any better than it was in Brawl. Boy, were we wrong. <laughs> It's, it's still nowhere near as good as Brawl. <laughs> yeah, of course, I was just playing around anyway. I've seen how big that hitbox was. Speaking of which, uh, Pikachu with the free spike, dare spike. We are up on uh, even stocks now. I really like how Chris really slowed down the tempo of the match. Ooh. He really did. Um, 
he's definitely get, that was a really good trap right there. We're gonna put a C4 here, blow it up, punch a shield. Both sides, great. Pretty safe. Didia trying to push for the projectile combos. I'm not sure how strong his uh, Thunder Jolt game is compared to Pichu's, where it's Thunder Jolt combo. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that was a close one. Pikachu's uh, Thunder Jolt combos aren't as strong as Pichu's, but I believe they're still there somewhere. Okay, that's cool. So right now we got uh, Jada going with the, uh, another bear combo. Missed the combo itself. The bears are still strong. Yeah. He's one you tilt away from getting smoked, though. <laughs> Snake's got so many kill options. He does. C4. I think even F tilt will kill at this percent, too. Oh, easy. Easily, yeah. But I don't even know if he's going to fish for it. He can go for, it for, for an F tilt right now and take it. Oh, oh, if he would have went for the U tilt right there, that would have been a sick finish. Yeah. I know that those, I was told rather on Twitter that uh, <laughs> you can confirm the D throw to a U tilt loop yeah. after a certain percent. Yeah, it's like 160, I believe. It, it, it I was either even, 160 or like 161 uh, or two, something like that. If only the Thunder Joel would have hit him right after he got through the spot dodge. Yeah. JDA up a stock, but hurting pretty bad right now. Yeah. Uh, Chris didn't really do anything wrong. He just dropped like two kill, kill confirms and uh, Pikachu just kind of outlived him for it, so. Oh yeah, that's a risky place to uh, fight a snake anyway, considering the uh, platforms can kind of pineapple you. Yeah. Little deeper than Dreamland, thankfully, but still, you gotta watch out for that if you're going in. <laughs> Grenade to break out combos, it still makes me laugh, I love it. Not to mention the shield defense. Here, I'm gonna hold, a, I'm holding this grenade. Take this if you hit me while I'm shielding. <laughs> Whew, good, uh, good dash dance, good neutral by uh, JDA. Good nice. parry, let's go. Woo. Going for the hype thunder kills. Okay. Oh okay. my God, aren't you Chris, glad? Uh, <laughs> aren't you, aren't you glad that rolls are better in this game now? Yeah. Chris, I mean, Snake also has an amazing. Uh, Roll in general, it goes yeah. really far on the ground. You should check so. out that air dodge. His directional air dodge uh, tries to make up for his uh, cipher. His aerial mobility is generally bad, but he can, like that right there. That was a perfect uh, recovery. Yeah. Going for a trap. Going for a big one. All right. Snake Jay has a lot of uh, tricky ways to mix up. <gasps> really oh, does. Man, that almost, killed. almost a kill. And that only 84. Yeah. Snake's uh, an up tilt would definitely drive this percent too. Absolutely. JDA really needs to watch out because anything can kill him at this point. Whereas sure. still, he's gonna have to fish for. Or a smash or a thunder combo. And that's assuming the thunder combo will even work off you throughout this percent. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a little too high for Sna even for Snake. That's true. If anything, it looks like a. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> okay. We're getting okay. there. We're getting to the spicy bits right here. Yeah. These, uh, these, these last few hits are going to be uh, basically nice hit can win. Yeah. Oh, J no. JDA going with the juggles. Oh my god, that grenade. Grenades just simply don't kill. Necessary, King. Yeah, oh, no. for what it's worth, considering how much uh, advantage it gets him. Oh my god, we're planting nice. mouse traps here. Nice trap by uh, Chris. Yeah, C JDA uh, fell for the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> he lost track of the C4, and you just can't do that versus Snake. Absolutely. All right, we got an even set right here. Let's go. I like even sets. It's really amazing how uh, T Rex pulled it back after game one. Yeah, that was a. Uh, he kind of got slapped a little bit. I'm not going to lie. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Tiny bit. There was some slapping going on, but Chris putting up a fight. Oh, absolutely. Um, I'm really, you know, happy to see him do that. I remember he played a little bit of Smash 4 early on as Luigi. Yeah. Um, before, I, I don't know if he was still playing after that, but it's nice to see him active again because, you know, it's good to see more players coming out, competing. T-Rex does a lot of hard work for our streams and whatnot. It's always yeah. good to see more players uh, yeah. enjoy the game. He deserves to get to play every now and then, you know, streaming it all the time. <laughs> Absolutely. Putting in all this work. So game three is going to be on Battlefield. So Battlefield. So Pikachu is going to have a little bit tougher of a time catching landings, whereas Snake has more options to plant traps. Yeah, I actually love Snake on Battlefield. Uh, C4 on platforms just cover them so good. <laughs> it really does. T-Rex plays surprisingly careful for a Snake. You go on Elite Smash, you got nothing but these suicidal snakes everywhere. Oh my god, was that non-DI? I don't I don't think he was DIing. Because oh. that killed at like 80 or 90 <laughs> after the hit. Ridiculous percent for a thunder on Snake. Yeah. Snake's a big boy, you know? Oh he, yeah. He is a big boy. I mean you gotta consider that a lot of the weight comes from all the weight equipment that he's handling, which is a good bit. Yeah. And even Otherwise that, he would be able to catch Zero Suit Samus. Oh yeah. That's what he said. Despite <laughs> that, he's got a significant weight nerf. 
from Brawl to Smash 4. Yeah. Ooh, oh, strike man. two. JDA in a sufficient lead. Pikachu can go on vacation, and it's still got a better chance at this point. T-Rex is going to have to do something drastic. Yeah. I know it's different in this game. He's not using Pikachu. He's using Pikachu now. <laughs> I guess you could say that. <laughs> he's using the waifu, so he's putting on more of a show. <laughs> yeah. Hey, interesting fact about uh, Pikachu Libre. It's likely a common misconception that Pikachu Libre originated from Pokémon Tournament, but that's not the case. He originally came from Pokémon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's really interesting because I always thought that there was Pokémon references. Strike three. JDA takes it just like he took game one. Yeah. Clean three stock. Amazing play by JDA. T-Rex still in losers. He has a chance. Yep. We can see him again. All right, I'm going to go check for a match, so I'm going to let T-Rex get back to his job. That was yeah, good. Hopefully we get to commentate again. That was fun. Yeah, it was. That was bad. <laughs> that was almost really bad. It's OK, though. Hi, Chris. <laughs> 